All right, remember, the Exhibitor Showcase is now open, so start exploring and make sure to add exhibitors you're interested in to your show agenda, as well as keynotes and sessions. And now it's over to the Verizon Chairman and CEO, Hans Vestberg. Take it away. This is CES 2021. Verizon's 5G nationwide network is now available to over 200 million people in 1,800 cities and towns. And 5G ultra wideband is now in over 50 metro areas. We leapfrogged five to seven years in the digital revolution. This mass shift sped up the timeline for work from home, distant learning, and telemedicine. We knew it was coming, but it was closer than we realized. Now, instead of being our future, it's our present. At Verizon, we're leading the industry to the 5G future as we deploy 5G Ultra Wideband, which delivering speeds and throughput that are simply unmatched. In the future, 5G could support more connected devices than ever before, up to 1 million per square kilometer. And fourth, We'll be able to support mobile connections up to 500 kilometers per hour or approximately 310 miles per hour, allowing you to maintain a signal even aboard the high speed vehicles, whatever on an aerodrome, high speed commuter train, or a self driving car. 5G Ultra Wideband will provide faster, more responsive service deployment and a new standard for energy efficiency and reliability. The NFL has continued to innovate with camera techniques, analytics, and novel forms of fan engagement like gaming and fantasy sports. This track record has made the NFL an ideal teammate for Verizon in developing new ways to bring sports closer to the audience. I'm so glad to introduce the person who is leading that partnership for the NFL, Commissioner Roger Goodell. Hey Hans, great to be with you. And I understand that Raymond James Stadium, the home of Super Bowl 55, just went live with 5G a few weeks ago. You're right, and it's so exciting with the 5G Ultra Wideband. A higher level of connectivity at incredible speeds will support large number of fans streaming their devices at once. And for the NFL teams, 5G Ultra Wideband has the potential to change in-game communication and provide faster transmission of key data and stats. Greater access to one of the greatest games. And that's so important, Hans. Together, we're rolling out 5G Ultra Wideband in 28 NFL stadiums in 2021, with expanded coverage in selected stadiums. As soon, we'll be able to transform 5G-enabled NFL venues into digital arenas that can host mobile game events with real-time on-site multiplayer action. While 5G is the transforming how we watch sports and interact with fellow fans, that's just a small part of what this technology can help us to achieve as a society. Through the power of 5G, we can bridge a digital divide for students and learners of all ages, helping everyone experience art and culture in a completely new way. When you can't get to the exhibit in person, new high fidelity 3D scans of objects and their stories can come to you. Thanks to AR made possible by one of the currencies of 5G, extremely high bandwidth. Students and educators from across the country can explore objects like the Apollo 11 command module you see here. With Verizon's commitment to digitize more historical artifacts, the Smithsonian can engage more people in more places, opening up a whole new world for students, artists, teachers, and lifelong learners, no matter where you are located. And over the next five years, Verizon support will allow us to accelerate the digitization and scanning of our collections and artifacts with the most possible detail. And what's more is how this initiative will be supporting the creation of new digital experiences for the Smithsonian across our museum network. Where I'm really excited to announce an incredible immersive art experience that we have been working on with our friends at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. With 5,000 years of art, 
and one and a half million pieces. It's a museum where people from all around the world travel to visit. But this new experience brings the museum to you in a way you've never seen it before. Using our technology and the advancement in the latest mobile devices, we are able to get you closer to the art you love. In fact, we can bring it into your home using augmented reality or AR. This type of AR rendering is at the fingertips of our nation's students in the real time. Something that's just not possible without 5G. At a time in history, when access to one of the world's greatest arts collection is limited, we're making it available to everyone. We think of it as a masterpiece of digital inclusivity. We're calling this experience the Met Unframed, and it's launching tomorrow, January 12th. I hope you all get a chance to experience it. Through Verizon Innovative Learning, we've invested more than a half billion dollars since 2012 to help students with the skills they need to put them on the path to success. And adding 5G to our education program is one more investment we're proud to make. That's why we've made a commitment to equip 100 schools with 5G in the coming years. And more broadly, as part of Citizen Verizon, our responsible business plan to help bridge the digital divide for 10 million youth by 2030, we're building a technology-rich education platform that will be available to students, teachers, and parents around the globe. And in keeping with the theme of today, we're just getting started. I'm so encouraged by the students we've worked with thus far and even more excited about what a 5G future will mean for them. And we're not waiting for the future to be better. We're doing our part by setting a goal for Verizon to become carbon neutral by 2035. And again, it just gets better. 5G ultra wideband will allow us to manage drones safely and securely and to integrate them into our communities. That technology is like what broadband was for the internet. I'll be able to coordinate fleets of drones remotely to do deliveries, to deliver packages. 5G makes that possible because of the ultra low latency, the massive capacity and bandwidth, the security and reliability. Those are all critical components to achieving that future vision and doing it in a safe and reliable way. The Ryzen Skyward team has been taking connectivity to the sky and testing the network for drones over the past year. This is to support not only connected cameras and sensors, but also for applications that will transform our daily lives, like package delivery, an initiative that UPS has been working on for a few years now. But now in 5G, you have a digital connection that can create all kinds of new possibilities. Skyward and UPS have been working together, testing drones, and now we're committed to exploring new opportunities. The global pandemic has driven us to accelerate the development of new and creative solutions to ensure our customers get what they need, when and where they need it. Autonomous mobility, supported by advanced technologies like 5G and drones, will be more critical in the future and we will continue to rely on partners like Verizon and Skyward to enable them. But as you know, by now, it just gets better. Verizon 5G won't simply help fans watch great shows on screen. We're also deploying 15 iconic live nation venues, including Fillmore in Miami, the Masonic Theater in San Francisco, and Irving Plaza in New York. As live music comes back, we will be ready to help it make it better than ever. This year, we learned a lot. We learned that a city can still think and learn even when we stay at home. That closing physical doors opens new ones. We learned that a class can go to the moon and back without even going to the classroom. That the show can go on. 
even without the crowd. But when the stadium is empty, we still get loud and stay close. And that no amount of distance can keep us from exploring new worlds together. We said 5G would change everything. Then, everything changed. And when this year arrived, 5G arrived with it. The 5G future is here. My name is Jiren Parikh. I'm the president and CEO of Ghost Robotics. We believe we have an incredible purpose here at Ghost. We build robots to keep humans out of harm's way. Think about a firefighter, a burning building, robot goes in, can sense the fire, the gases. That's pretty amazing. Verizon's 5G network is really critical to the capability of our robot as we move forward. As these sensors are capturing more and more data and processing is taking place in the cloud, we have to have a very high bandwidth network that can transmit enormous amounts of information that are being captured by these sensors. And a fast, efficient, secure network is absolutely critical to the operation of these mobile devices.